Trump administration asks Supreme Court to block abortion for immigrant teen. The Trump administration asked the Supreme Court on Monday to block an abortion for a teenage girl in immigration custody, even as federal officials gave up their fight to prevent another undocumented immigrant teen from terminating her pregnancy. The moves came just hours after a federal judge ordered the Trump administration to permit abortions as soon as Tuesday evening for both pregnant 17-year-old girls being held in federally funded shelters in different states. The Justice Department did not provide a detailed explanation of its decision to acquiesce in one girl's decision while continuing to seek to block the other teen from getting an abortion but simply cited differing circumstances. The teen whom officials are no longer trying to stop from terminating her pregnancy is believed to be about 22 weeks pregnant, nearing the time many states ban elective abortion. In the stay application the Trump administration filed with the Supreme Court on Monday night, Solicitor General Noel Francisco said the other girl is only about 10 weeks pregnant and efforts to find a sponsor who could take her out of federal custody could be completed within two weeks. A stay here would preserve the status quo pending further adjudication. And would ensure that this court need not choose between justice on the fly and participation in what may be an idle ceremony, Francisco added. The restraining order issued by U.S. District Court Judge Dania Chotkin reignited a legal battle over the rights of undocumented minors in federal custody to have abortions first sparked in October when another 17-year-old immigration detainee petitioned to end her pregnancy. Chutkin did not provide a lengthy explanation for the order she issued Monday evening, but concluded there was a need to preserve, the teens, constitutional right to decide whether to carry their pregnancies to term. Chutkin, an appointee of President Barack Obama, also said the legal principles at stake were essentially the same as those she and appellate judges ruled on in October. The teen at the center of that case, ultimately received an abortion after the full bench of the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals split, 6-3, upholding Chotkin's decision. Since the start of the legal battle, the administration has maintained that undocumented minors in federal custody have no legal rights to abortion. Government lawyers have also argued that the teens are free to return to their home countries or to seek to be released to the custody of a sponsor, but federal officials should not have to take any action to facilitate an abortion. Few details are public about the two teens who are currently seeking abortions. They recently entered the U.S. and are in states that do not require parental or judicial consent for a 17-year-old to receive an abortion. We are deeply disappointed in the decision to grant a temporary restraining order that will compel HHS to facilitate abortions for minors when they are not medically necessary, said a spokesperson for the Department of Health and Human Services, which has custody over the teens under federal law. A pregnant minor who has entered the country illegally has the option to voluntarily depart to her home country or identify a suitable sponsor. HHS-funded facilities that provide temporary shelter and care for unaccompanied alien minors should not become way stations for these children to get taxpayer-facilitated abortions. A lawyer for the girls seeking abortions, Bridget Amiri of the American Civil Liberties Union. Welcome Chotkin's latest ruling. The judge's decision is a reminder that both the law and justice are on our side. We've already seen the court's rule in favor of Jane Doe, and today justice prevailed for two more young women like her, Amiri said. Unfortunately, the Trump administration has shown no indication that they'll abandon their cruel and dystopian crusade to block abortion access for some of the most marginalized people in our country. We're prepared to keep fighting for as long as we need to. About a half hour after Chotkin issued her order, government attorneys appealed the ruling to the D.C. Circuit. Soon thereafter, Justice Department attorneys filed for an emergency stay of Chotkin's ruling with respect to the girl who is about 10 weeks pregnant. The decision was set to kick in just after 6 p.m. Tuesday, allowing the teen to get an abortion after that time. However, on Monday night a three-judge panel of the D.C. Circuit extended that stay for another 24 hours while the court seeks legal filings from both sides. The three D.C. Circuit judges assigned to the case, Judith Rogers, David Taitel and Patricia Millett are all Democratic appointees who joined in the October decision permitting the teen who filed the legal challenge to receive an abortion.